on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Okay, first things first, everything that happened in canon has already happened so far. Up to a point where Bakugo pretty much blew up Izuku's notebook and Izuku's walking home. The only thing here that really changes is there is no overpass. He's not getting attacked by a sludge villain and he does not meet All Might. What happens here is that he finally snaps, so to speak. After being so passive, happy-go-lucky, hopeful for the future of him possibly being a hero, not only seeing that, yeah, his friend, well, used to be ex-friend, now, is nothing but a pure asshole. For no real reason but to make himself feel better. So, Izuku goes out into the woods and starts punching trees, relieving years of bit just uh, pent up stress and anger, rage that he's been holding on to without any other outlet. And. This is when he actually does meet Miracle. She was uh, on her way to pretty much yeah, on patrol when she heard there was some, some noises coming from the forest. And she sees Izuku. Um, what's wrong with you? Seeing tears in his eyes, his knuckles are bleeding. He's huffing and puffing. Nothing. I'm fine. Okay, I'm not an idiot, so don't treat me like I'm one. What? Uh, wait, that's, that's not why I, I know. So, explain yourself. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. You... You want to be a hero. Him, uh, yes. Just waiting to hear the backlash, the mocking that he got so used to. Okay, then. How about I help you? I say what? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Seriously, that Koski boy sounds like a real asshole. If anything, yeah, I, why not prove him wrong? But I don't have a quirk. You don't need a quirk. I mean, think of a racer head. Hmm? He makes people quirkless. So, he's pretty much fighting people with his own strength. That took, it takes just years of training. Let alone that capture scar of his, just a pain in the ass. Uh, well, I can't do that. True. But you can become a great hero if you don't train. I mean, look at you. Seriously, look, those are chicken legs. And those arms. You're, you're, you're basically a bean sprout. Oh. Yeah. So here's the thing. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Meet me here, and we can start your training. Right now, I gotta. Uh, I gotta take on this villain. What villain? As in a huge. <laughs> you say. Orchard where the trees gets thrown straight towards Izuku and Mirko. Mirko breaking them. Izuku amazed at this. How? Wow, you 
do not know much about heroes. At least the ones besides All Might, probably. But, yeah. I am the bunny hero. Huh. I thought you were a rabbit. Uh, bunny, rabbit, what's the difference? Well, the, well, all these consider to shut up. As Miracle pretty much only just pure brutality upon this poor uh, suspected villain, Izuku is both amazed and shocked with a mixture of horrified and also cool factor. He's never seen anyone fight like huh, Miracle, as you can imagine. What she's done, and Izuku's are you sure you want to train me? Trust me, you... You're going to have to find out your own fighting style compared to me. W why? <sighs> Leave it like this. Say you had a quirkly mind. Or hell, even All Might or Bakugos. Yeah, you would have similar fighting styles, but you wouldn't be them. You would have to pick up your own separate fine style that might have been inspired by them, but it had to be your own thing. Huh. So, what you're saying is I had to find out my best way of fighting. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> I'm tired. I had to take this guy to jail again. And put him in custody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go home and meet me at that location tomorrow. Which, as soon as he does get home, it was late. It goes where he's sick. And she sees that, yeah, his knuckles are a lot more bloody than when he left. I should mention his eyes are red as all hell from all the crying he's been doing. She's like, do, do I? Or should I expect a flood? What? I can tell you've been crying. Oh, uh, I, uh, let's just say some things happened and and then she you know, was burning. Is you remembering his notebook is just burned up? It's like, how'd that happen? Did, wait, did you get your quirk? Seeing him pretty much be saddened by that word? I guess not. Do you want to talk about it? No. Him just running to his room and going to sleep. You go, obviously, just worry about her son. <sighs> if only he did have a quirk. But hopefully he will choose a less dangerous profession than a hero. As yes, the next day, Izuku, he rushes and eats breakfast as fast as he can. Iko wondering hey, what's going on, why are you so um, impatient in a rush? Like, oh, I got some somewhere to be. Where? Him pretty much, like, I'm going to get trained by a hero. What? Yes, I'm going to be a hero. What? You see, things happen, yeah, 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 Miracle, yeah, yeah, villain attack, blah, blah, blah. What? So, yeah, she's training me to be a hero. No. Huh? I mean, yay! But, uh, so, um, are you sure it's safe? Mom, if I'm going to be a hero... Danger is, uh, you know, part of the part of the job description, isn't it? Uh, I 
suppose you're right, but still doesn't mean I have to like it. Don't worry, I trust her. But you don't even know this woman. Well, typically I... Doing hero research does not count as knowing the person. What if you get hurt? Well, more hurt. Look, look at your knuckles. I told you I was from punching a tree. Yes. All because you got angry. Look, Mom, I... I really, really want to be a hero. <sighs> I know. But you don't ever quirk, and I don't know what I'll, I would do if you ever came back too wounded, or I had to see you in a hospital, or worse, I don't see you ever. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm positive. Okay. You can go. Thanks, and Zigu runs off. He arrives at the location of the wish seat. Agreed upon. Pretty much breathing all heavy, as you can imagine. Mirko, seeing this, hmm, yeah, we're going to fix that. What? You're breathing all heavy already. We haven't even started our training. Okay. Whew. Listen, I'm just tired. I ran all the way here. Yeah. How far do you? How far away do you stay from here? Oh, I live such and such miles this way. I go this way, I turn that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? You built your stamina so you can run here at full speed and not be tired. What? Yeah. In fact, that's a light jog. If anything else. That's a hop, skip, and jump away. Seriously. Wait, aren't hop and jump the same? Don't question me. <clears throat> Either way, first, you start cleaning the other's trash. What tra As, yes, he sees the mounds of garbage, scrap metal, weights, just discarded tires, rusted cars, destroyed unrecognizable refrigerators he's wondering you want me to, to do what started by clearing out some of this trash are you gonna help me no I am not you see I can tell you have not trained a single day in your life uh. <laughs> well, yeah I, I guess I uh, yeah, and you were serious about being a hero, aren't you? Yes. So, get your training. Uh, but how does this help? Don't question me, boy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, it's pretty much a whole 10 months training art for Izuku. Only thing is, Miracle is a lot more brutal and straightforward than All Might is. If anything, there is no promise of a quirk. It's training. That is all it is. And once Izuku clears off a fair amount of the trash, is when the real bullshit begins. She has him running on sand, which, those who haven't done it, is a lot more difficult than running on concrete or hell, anywhere else. Well, there are some exceptions, and some things are harder to run on than, you know, sand, but still. If anything, so someone is new to working out in this type of exercise, because of Izuku, yeah. First, 
It was legs, then the upper body, arms. She's working every muscle that you could possibly utilize. Not like that, you bastards. Fallout. Ghost. Loki. Dio. <clears throat> well, if anything, she's making sure that he's as strong as he can possibly be. Or at least, wants to awaken those newbie gains in which, in which he is a lot more surprised all things considered. When he sees the transformation after at least three months, he's like, is this really me? Yep. Thank you. No, well, let me, yeah, you just got a bit more muscle mass and whatever. Yeah, it's nothing to really brag about. I mean, it's an improvement. But if anything, keep working. In three more months, we're going to start the hard stuff. What? Oh, well, this isn't, oh no, this is novice. Apprentice. Hell, beginner shit. We haven't gone to the horror stuff yet. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. This is gonna be hell for you. Okay. Okay. So, what do you suggest? I suggest you start hauling ass. You better hope you get enough strength for what's coming next. As yes, this is when Zuko's train goes on the overdrive, with Mirko being at least nice enough. So like, yeah, don't go overboard, or else you will destroy your own body, and which all that work will be for nothing. She's not a complete idiot or muscle head. She's pretty much like, okay, I know how, you, I know you're not as gifted as others, but still, you have something that they don't. You have a lot more to work with, so to speak. I mean, you not training, those newbie gains are going to really help you. You got to keep it up, though. You still got to train your ass off. You want to make sure you rest enough, eat right, all that shit. You can't waver. Not for long. You get your rest, but then you got to get back at it as soon as the rest of the period is over. After the... Next three months, Izuku and Mirko are at the top of a building, in which he sees how far down it is. He's like, "Why are we here?" Jump to the next building. I'm oh, sorry. What? Oh yeah. I mean. You don't have no, you don't have a license, you don't have any other form of real transportation besides them legs right there. What? Wait, 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 are you saying you want me? Eh, it's because, I forget, is it parkour or free running? What? Eh, one of them is mainly to show off and look cool, the other one is for mobility and getting to a certain point A to point B as fast as possible. Just going through terrain, doing flips, wall running, all the like, but right now we're focusing on jumping. And if I don't make it? Hmm, I don't know. Don't make it and we'll see what happens. <gasps> You're trying to kill me. No, I'm trying to train you. There's a difference. Yeah, training you will make you feel like you're dying. Trying to kill you, you wouldn't know you were going to die by my hands. I, I, uh, uh, I can't, I can't deny your logic. Of course not. Now, hop to it. First time, Izuku is not prepared. He wimps out and he falls. Luckily, Miracle does catch him by the skin of his teeth, but he's like, 
I don't, I don't want to. You want to be a hero or not? Yes, but. No bitching. Get to jumping. And she throws it back on top of the building and is like, We are not leaving until you can at least clear this, you know, this distance. You are quirkless. You have to try a lot harder. You're going to work and train a lot harder than anyone else. Well, it really depends on the quirk, but still. Okay. Good. <sighs> okay. 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 I'm ready. Are, are you sure? Yeah. Then jump. It takes Izuku 20 tries before he can finally at least grab the ledge. In which he is proud of himself, but also exhausts as all hell. Miracle, very much for like, Huh. Took you long enough. Oh! Good job. Alright. You can go home now. But I... Wait. Anything? Trust me. It's already late enough. He's even finally noticing... Wait, I see stars. And the moon is out. Bright as all hell. The sun is gone. I definitely need to get home. It goes... Seeing that he's exhausted... But as soon as he just runs back home, he, she notices, like, not only has he not come home with less bruises, let alone he's not a short of breath anymore. In all honesty, huh, she probably wouldn't recognize him. And Zu is actually proud of his progress, all things considered. He's going to prove to everyone that, yes, there, it doesn't matter if you have a quirk or not, you can still be a hero. Yes. The next day is when it gets a little bit more difficult. Yes, jumping from ledge to ledge, building to building can be a pain, but uh, wall running, wrong hopping, etc., etc., yeah, parkour and free running, there's a difference, but it's, for a first timer, it can be utter hell. It can be dangerous if you don't have the proper facilities. In this case, a concrete jungle is the best thing you can uh, manage. So yes, they do this for two months in which Izuku is actually getting a lot better when it comes to to free running in general. Mirko's proud of him. Fair thing, she's surprised he just didn't give up. She thought he was all talk before about wanting to be a hero, but really, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. In which, yes, she is very proud of her little son the role. If anything, Izuku isn't really embarrassed because of Mirko because she she's a hero she that's all he, he really sees her as a hero until one of her training sessions when she's not wearing her hero costume uh, what I uh, I, uh, uh, I what What are you trying to say? You just realized that? No, it's just us. He's, he's looking her up and down. He see them legs. He's... Wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you... Are you getting right? No, 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 of course not. It's just... I just realized... Yeah, you're a hero, but you're also female, but it's kind of... Have you never talked to a girl before that wasn't your mother? 
Have you ever had a girlfriend or a female friend or, hell, went on a date or anything? No. Oh, this is adorable. Yuzuku blushing. Mirko just laughing her ass off at Yuzuku's expense. So it was pretty much like, okay, okay, this is going to be a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Huh. Yes, yes, yes it is. As you can imagine, this is pretty much where it goes like, yeah, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Now, we are at month nine at the training. Hey, Zuku. He's gotten both. Or he's gotten more jacked. Well, to the point where, yeah, everyone's noticed. Bongo especially, he's like, what the hell? Did he work in a quirk or something? But... When it comes to his training with Miracle, it gets more intense. She wears her hero costume less around Izuku, not just to really train him into keeping his composure around people or stressful situations or, you know, the opposite sex, Maybe to tease him. Because she wear what she wears isn't revealing, but it's tight. Not so tight that it's uncomfortable, but tight enough so you can see creases. So yes, Izuku's training is not only physical, but it's also mental and emotional in some ways. As they are running from rooftop to rooftop, Mirko enjoying the fact that Izuku is so embarrassed and flustered around her, but slowly growing up hair, so to speak. She accidentally jumps to a building that is too high for Izuku to jump towards. In which, as soon as Izuku does, with all his strength, he misses the pipe. In which she is freaking out as he plummets to the ground as he is falling further and further down Mirko is trying her best to catch him but she just barely misses until Izuku with whatever strength he has left in those legs kicks as he jumps slightly just enough for Mirko to grab onto him I am so sorry. I, I I was just so I was just so um, uh, busy training you. You were teasing me. I was, but still, I I was just so I was in the zone at that time, and I uh, forgot. Yeah, you you don't have work, so <clears throat> I'm sorry. <sighs> Well, at least you were able to catch me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Seriously, I don't think. Hmm. What? Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. It's probably nothing. As yeah, Mirko does wonder like, wait, how in the hell did I catch him? Cause all in all, through through science, it's. Huh. We we should have been falling at the same speed if I can I sure so couldn't have gotten that much faster without anything to kick off on. So what stopped him for that split second? As she's thinking about this, Izuku he gets close, her freaking out and socking him in the jaw. Him getting a dislocated jaw for a second as he has if he's whining and it's like, why did you do this? Don't oh, stop being such a baby. As he cracks it back into place, as is still hurting, but it's like, thank you, but what the hell? Why did you? You surprised me. What? 
Yeah. So, blame yourself. It was your fault, not mine. You didn't have to hit me. Well, you, you didn't have to sneak up on me. How can I sneak up on you with ears like that? Bitch, did you just make fun of my ears? Huh? What? No! 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 Okay. Okay, so you, so you won't talk shit about my ears. Her grabbing him and pretty much holding him by his shirt over a building. You want, you want to say anything else about my ears? Oh, they're lovely. In fact, I'm actually curious about how soft they actually are. What? Yeah, you know, they they look very soft and comfortable. It's like, wait, 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 what are you talking about? Wait, I, well, I guess they are, but in fact, would you mind if I just them now? Wait, watch her blushing and slamming him to the ground. There's the roof. Okay, maybe that was a sour subject. You damn right. Asking you to touch a woman's ears. How rude. Uh, wait, that's a thing? Yes. Hmm. Whatever. Go home. Izuku pretty much is like, I'm sorry if I offended you or something. But I don't understand it. Just go home. Like, okay. Mirko just blushing like I can't believe he really asked to touch my ears. Because when it comes to her ears and cottontail, those are you could say erogenous zones in which they are very sensitive when they're touched. And depending on how they're touched, Mirko won't be able to just have her herself, let alone her voice. And the last thing she needs is Zuku learning that. And him, at least him learning after she does allow that permission if she ever planned on it. Who knows? Time will tell. <laughs> Either way, that is pretty much how their training is for the rest of the 10 months. When it comes to the whole, you know, entrance exam, Izuku had plenty of time to study. He had plenty of time to prepare for this. So theoretical, boom, done. He doesn't have to worry about failing that. When it comes to the practical, he knows he not that strong when it comes to breaking metal. If anything, he's going to have to invest in some armor for his hero costume. No doubt. But what he does know is the deactivation switch. <clears throat> he can get that. All he has to do make sure he doesn't do anything stupid or too reckless. But you know he is. It's a zoo kid. So, when it comes to that, he's actually gotten a good amount of hero points from saving other people, but as well as villain points mixed in with that, considering that he's saving people from taking on robots that they aren't strong enough to defeat. Surprising everyone, they're wondering, wait, what kind of quirk does he have? In which, yeah, no one knows he's quirkless, except for the teachers! In the observation room. Right now, they think he might have a acrobatics work or something. Other than that, at least his legs are stronger than he should not be compared to an overall human. Because of all my Aizawa, Nezu, hell, Midnight, they're all looking at Izuku and like, Are you sure this kid's quirkless? All my looking and saying that, yeah. But like he is getting fatigued, from what I can tell, just not by much. It's interesting. Hmm. Actually, very 
Very interesting. Oh well. If he doesn't have a quirk, what do you think, Nezu? All he has to do is pass. And yes, depending on where he places, he'll be placing a certain, you know, class. Oh, you're not really considering him for 1A, are you? If he proves good enough, why not? He's, if he's corkless, do you know how dangerous that is? I'm surprised he's... <clears throat> All night. Uh huh? Are you really trying... Are you, do, you, do you really have any right to talk? Hey, that, that is not fair. I, I am different. I am built different than he... No, no. No, 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 no. Uh... Professor Nezu. What? You unleashed as a zero pointer. I did what? Seeing the big red button he pushed by accident. It's like, oh dear. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. As yes, everyone is running like bat out hell, trying to get away from the damn thing. Izuku included, and that's even that's a lot harder considering that he sees some people getting tripped up and possibly pinned down on the rubble, which causes him to have no choice but to tap in those heroic instincts and save them. Arnie has more hero points, mind you, but still, make it so he has less time to escape himself. But then he hears screaming and yelling as he sees someone get pinned down over the rubble that was caused by the Zero Pointer, in which he sees one person, or it could be what he doesn't see. As he runs in, he looks for whoever was screaming and yelling for help, and he doesn't see anyone. And then he hears it even louder, and then he sees, again, nothing. I'm right here, feeling something grab onto his arms. Wait, what? Uh, wait, are you? Yes, I'm invisible. Can you help me, please? Izuku lifting the rubber off Agakure, picking her up. Her embarrassed, but Izuku sure so doesn't know that unless she says something. As he runs as fast as he could. Only thing is, the Zero Point is slowly but surely closing in behind them. Her screaming, saying, run faster! I can't! And then he kicks up, starts wall running, trying to pretty much uh, open the gap even further. Not helping enough, but this is when he got crazy. He's like, Use your quirk! I don't have a quirk! And then she knows, like, I'm sorry, what? As yes, they are continuously being chased by the zero pointer. Present Mike, he's trying to say the chest is over, chest is over, but for some reason, yeah, yeah, this is like no, let's see, something, something's different about him. What are you talking about? As the zero pointer is outstretching its hand towards them, Izuku sees this. And panics with one final jump. He's right between the fingers. And Agakure, she is screaming in his damn ear. Like, what are you doing? But then Izuku, like on his thing, jumps one more time. Knowing he has no platform, as he kicks off out of the air itself. Like, I'm really like, wait, what? Uh, how did you? 
and they go zooming past everyone else. Ida himself is like, what the hell? This, what just passed me? Huh. Okay, now you can say the test is over. President Mike's like, you crazy. You knew you could have. Ah, but we didn't. As yes, he's a girl with Hagagari still in his arms. It's like, I did it. We're alive. Uh, him realizing that. Uh, wait. As he squeezes, like, uh, what are you doing? Um, this is weird. What? I don't feel your... As he starts moving his hand, like, and he knows his weight toes. <gasps> wait, are you? Are you? No, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you? Naked? As everyone in the Tessie site heard that, it's a god crazy. She screams, freaks out, and slaps Izuku right in his face. Him pretty much like. Uh, that hurt! Well, <clears throat> maybe next time, don't blurt out something like that. In public, while you're filling up a girl. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I, I did not mean to. I was just feeling. Yeah, you were feeling something, weren't you? As yes, all the uh, other participants are looking at Izuku. Like, did you really? No, no. Seriously, it was in the spur of the moment. Oh yes, I sure. I'm sure it was. No, I. I'm going home. As he falls and notices that his leg is killing him all of a sudden. Recovery of a girl just showing up. He's like, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, this is. broken. What? Yeah. If anything. Hmm. Due to my excessive experience, it seems though you use too much strength. What? Yeah. It seems like you use too much of your power. And, uh, yeah, your bone and your leg couldn't take it all without snapping. Are you serious? Yes, I would suggest you be careful to use your quirk from now on. What? No, no, I'm quirkless. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quirkless. You serious? Yeah. The hell did you do all that stuff? What stuff? The, the wall running, the uh, roof hopping. How did you do that without quirk? Oh, that, that's just a part of my training. What training? What kind of training did you do to be able to do all that shit? Hellish. Spear breaking training. I didn't think someone so beautiful could be so cruel. What? Who did this to you? Here I go. Then it's like, of course. That, that makes complete sense. When he goes home, he is exhausted. He goes still wondering like, what's wrong, but he also was like, eh, I turned out I broke my leg. What? What? Then why aren't you in the hospital? Why aren't you? Do we need to go to the hospital ourselves? Wait, well, how are you walking on it? If it's broken. Where's the cast? Where's the wheelchair? Where's the crutches? It's okay. 
Yeah, recovery girl, healed me. Yeah, I feel like I'm just exhausted from her healing. Oh. Whew. Okay, good. Good. Hmm. Hmm. Well, seriously. Hmm. I hope you pass. Oh, you and me both, Mom. Good. Good. So, how was the test? Easy, but mm, not so easy. Her pretty much be given the whole spiel about what happened, what transpired, and everything. She's like, Izuku! What? You never do that to a woman! I, I didn't. I. Mm. Was it really that bad? Yes! Shall I apologize? Yes! Okay, okay, but I don't know anything about her. Well, if you ever see that poor girl again, you should definitely apologize. <sighs> but if anything, I, d I feel very sorry for her. Wow, I am a jerk. It's not that. It's just... If anything... When you noticed that you didn't feel a costume while you were carrying her, why would you feel around for one? I... I... Uh, uh, I have no excuse. You damn right you don't. I suggest you uh, think about what you've done. As yes, the next day, Izuku he gets chewed out by Miracle, and she's like, "You pervert!" Uh, no, no, I did not do it on purpose. Oh, oh, that poor, poor girl. She did not deserve that from you. I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I figured you didn't, but still. You had to consider the feelings of others, Izuku. Uh, it, it's that bad, isn't it? Yes, it is. Next time, think before you do something. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. I suggest you find this girl and apologize to her directly. I, I have no idea what she looks like. She was invisible. I doubt she was going to be willing to reveal herself in such a way when she was buck ass naked. Well. I guess that's your new objective. Hmm. Well, besides the whole air hopping thing. What? You said you kicked off from pure air. Nothing but the air. That would mean you kicked so fast, or at least with so much force, Wow. Actually, yeah. So I sure as heck didn't see any metal, but let alone feel it. I mean, to break my leg like that? Yeah, that takes a lot of power to kick off like that. I, I can't even do that. But it seems like, only, it seems like you can really only do it 
when you're stressed. That's how I saved you! What? Yeah! Seriously, you kicked off the air! That's how I was able to catch up with you when you fell from that high building! What? Yeah, so technically you saved you, or at least you aided me in saving you. What's that supposed to mean? It means you may not have a quirk, but you seem to have something... Hmm. I don't know really know how to explain it, but if anything, it's powerful. Being able to kick off the air with sheer power, or at least destroy your legs. Whew. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that that's crazy powerful. <sighs> I uh, I never really thought of it like that. Hmm. Yes. It's quite interesting. The amount of power, the amount of force. If anything, it's nothing short of incredible. Okay, so what now? I would suggest you get some practice in on doing that. Or at least, just say your legs are strong enough right now. Worry about your arms and upper body. Okay? If anything, probably get your legs some more, uh, maybe your bones at least, some more uh, training or something. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now. Oh, yeah. Also. Uh, ow! Why did you slap me? That's for embarrassing that invisible girl during the exam. Uh, why did you slap me? She already slapped me once. Hmm. Well, let's just say. I can relate to such embarrassment. <laughs> but I didn't... Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's pretty much how Azuku he spends his time until the results come in. Which, he know he's not in first place. All things considered. He mainly went after one pointer, and came to two or three pointer. And that's when it was about to hurt someone. Here points, yeah, there were some strong quirks out there to the point where some of them didn't even need his help, or he was helped by one of the other participants. Hmm. So, yes, like for Izuku, he has nothing to really worry about. But training. Nice. I wish I could say his troubles will be over soon. But you know me. I had to give him some more struggles before he can really utilize his greatness. Anywho, let's get to the first day of UA. We arrives there, he hears a bunch of whispers about a groper being able to attend UA and everything. Uh, they're talking about me, aren't they? Him just trying to cover his face, but hell, people know him already. Someone's actually drawn a picture of what this mysterious grover looks like. It's only when he gets to class 1A he sees a felt out uniform with no face or anything. And she screams, You! Her 
seeing Ezekiel again and saying, You perverse, what are you doing here? As everyone is looking in utter shock, it's like, what is she talking about? Bakugo saying Izuku was like, wait, how are you, what are you doing in here? I'm pretty sure you're in the wrong classroom. As it is going on and on, back and forth about, you shouldn't be here. How could he let someone like you into such a sacred school for heroes? Izuku trying to explain, like, I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Everyone else is wondering, um, okay, explain. McGregor starts yelling about how he, Izuku pretty much groped her, her and felt her up without her permission in front of God knows how many participants, and as soon as he realized that she was indecent, he yelled it out. Izuku would try his best to explain himself. Until he just feels something tugging out his shirt. Like, what? He sees Manana. And Manana, she was like, come closer. Come I got chased. What? What? How soft was she? Izuku, getting embarrassed, flustered, starts blushing, as then a little drop of blood starts to come down from his nose. As then he turns his head and he feels this murderous presence coming from Hagakure and the other girls. It's like, what you thinking about? <gasps> nothing! 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 Oh no, it must be something pretty good considering that you, you have a nosebleed. As yes, this is when Manez. This I'm happy I went. I decided to go to this school. This, this school is gonna be good, gonna be great. I, I'm gonna like it here. As Izuku is trying to reach out and hopefully not be condemned as a pervert. It's pretty much when he's does explain like in the spur of the moment he had to grab her and carry her prison style so she wouldn't get hurt by the zero pointer yeah 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 then the incident show who just decided to happen uh, what the book of the god is this true yes wait so you slapped him for saving you don't want to you for filling me up Seriously, cover your feet. That's why he slapped him. It's not until he felt my toes. What? No, look at him. He said, Is this true? I was like, I didn't mean for it to happen. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. We understand. But still, you know what you did was wrong, right? Yes. In fact, I've been looking for her to apologize. The only thing is, I don't know what she looks like. Wait, you did? You were? So you were looking for me? By the tone of voice, the girls already know, like, okay, yeah, she's forgiven him. Also, hmm, I guess she... Yeah, he didn't mean to do it like that, I guess, but still. And then, as that was finally decided to show himself, like, uh, 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 all right, everyone sit down. We we'll have a cork up hit the test. You, we're just pointing at Izuku, like, you are exempt from it since you don't have a quirk. Everyone, like, huh? Excuse me? Is it good looking at them? Like, yeah, I'm quirkless. Then how would you get in here? Hard work, determination, and 
A lot of trials and tribulations. Just reminding himself of the times where Mirko beat him to sleep, beating the ugly shit out of him. As everyone goes back to the field.